Hi, my name is Ashley. In today's lesson, we will learn how to write a cover letter. Let's take another look at Krista and her situation. As you may recall, Krista is looking for a job to support her family. She has been searching for a job on the internet and found a data entry job she wants at the Adult Ed Med Hospital. She has created a resume hoping to get the job and thinks she is all set until she realizes the employer also wants a cover letter. Krista doesn't know how to write a cover letter and she's not entirely sure she even knows what a cover letter is. What is a cover letter? Well, a cover letter is a document that you submit with your resume that really introduces you to an employer. This is a great opportunity for you to make your very first impression to the employer as it is the first thing a hiring manager will look at. In our competitive job market, many hiring managers might receive hundreds of resumes just for one position. Can you imagine how you would feel if you had to read through that many documents? That could be extremely time consuming. So to save time, many hiring managers quickly scan or read cover letters before they decide to even consider reading the resumes. We might wonder why employers require a cover letter. The cover letter really provides a hiring manager with a chance to decide if they have to look at your resume. And you want them to look at your resume, don't you? If you did the resume lesson, I know you know how much work went into creating that resume. But the reality is employers only look closely at a small number of resumes. So submitting a resume with a job application just is not enough. But cover letters also provide you with some opportunities of your own. This is your chance to demonstrate that you know how to express yourself and that you are interested enough in the position that you research the company and the position. A cover letter also lets prospective employers know which specific position you're interested in, why you're interested, and how you learned about it. Furthermore, writing a cover letter really lets you highlight some key skills that show your qualifications for the desired position. A cover letter basically acts as an introduction to your resume. It is a formal business document, so it should be written in a business letter format. All cover letters, unless written in email format, should include the following. They should include a date, your address, employer's address, greeting, body, close, signature, and an enclosure line. In most cases, cover letters are written on documents separate from emails. Make sure you include the date that you write the letter in the upper left-hand corner. It is recommended that you use the month, day, and year format. So something like January 27, 2009. You will include addresses next. You should first provide your home mailing address, followed by the address of the employer. You want to make sure you add an extra space between the two so that it does not look confusing. The next section is the greeting. Your greeting is super important because it lets the reader know who you are sending the cover letter and resume to. It is a great idea to try to find out who the hiring managers are and try to include their names. If you can't find their names, you can always use a generic term like hiring manager. The body of the letter is next. So this is the main part of the cover letter. This is the section where you will want to mention which job position you are interested in and how you heard about it. You really want to represent yourself as the best possible candidate for the job. So let the employer know why you should be chosen for the job. Additionally, you also want to share what actions you plan to take next. Maybe say something like, I would really like to meet with you for an interview to discuss the skills I can bring to the position. After your body paragraph, make sure you include a closing and that you use a professional and polite phrase like sincerely or respectfully or regards. And then finally, you will add your signature. This area should include your name, 
a written or electronic signature, and another way to contact you, such as an email address or phone number. Right below the signature, you will also want to include the enclosure line. This line will basically let the reader know that you have attached a resume. You might write something like, see attached resume. Now, before I show you how to write a cover letter, let's go over some basic tips to help you get started. Then we will talk about some things to avoid as well. First, let's look at some things you should do. You should collect all of the necessary information you need before beginning your letter. So, you want to have the job description, the name of the hiring manager, if you can get it, and any other research you have done about the company. You should follow directions. Some employers might want you to provide additional information, like examples of work you have created, and others may not accept applications via email. So, make sure you pay attention to what they require. Make an effort to address your letter to a specific person. If you don't know who the hiring person is, use a greeting like Dear Hiring Manager or Staff Selection Team. Write a rough draft. Anytime you write anything, you should write a rough draft. The same applies to cover letters. Make sure you include all the parts that we discussed earlier. Use good writing techniques. Poor grammar is one of the primary reasons that cover letters are rejected. Keep your cover letter simple and to the point. Feel free to highlight your skills or add bullet points to things you are listing. As we mentioned before, make sure you are using correct grammar. If you don't feel confident in your grammar ability, have a friend or a teacher proofread and help you before sending the letter. It is also a good idea to use action verbs. If you don't know what I mean by action verbs, they are basically verbs that describe an action. Some examples of action verbs might include organized, achieved, typed, or entered. If you ever need help thinking of action verbs for your cover letters and resumes, Check out the resume verbs sheet found on the GCF Learn free website. You should also format cover letters so that they are easy to read. Make sure your letter is single spaced. Make sure you double space after the date, addresses, the greeting, and each paragraph. Make sure to leave a space for your signature. Bold your skills to make sure your qualifications stand out. Use a font such as Times New Roman or Tahoma. And now let's talk about some things you should avoid doing when writing your cover letter. Don't write a letter longer than one page. Remember, we want to keep the letter simple and to the point. Don't include false information. Always be honest. Don't use the same cover letter for each job you apply for. You need to tailor each letter for specific jobs. Don't include photos unless it is requested. Don't share weaknesses. You want to focus on things you are good at, not the things that you are not so good at. And finally, don't include salary information unless requested to do so. Okay. Now that you understand what a cover letter is, the parts of a cover letter, and tips for creating a good cover letter, let's create one for Krista. First, let's review. Krista has been searching for a job on the internet and found a data entry job she wants at the Adult Ed Med Hospital. She has created a resume, but now she needs a cover letter to submit with that resume. There are several ways you can get started with writing your cover letter. You can search templates online, use a graphic organizer, or just create your own. We will first start by putting the date in the upper left corner. Next, we will add Krista's name and address, and then the hiring manager's name, followed by the company's name and address. We will then start the letter with our greeting to the hiring manager. Krista tried to find a hiring manager, but was unable to locate one, so we're going to simply state, Dear Hiring Manager, 
I was very excited to find the medical data entry position at the Adult Ed Med Hospital, job ID 442631, listed on your website. I think the new hospital will be very helpful to the people in our community. I know that the Adult Ed Med Hospital will be opening soon and you will be looking for qualified people to fill your data entry positions. Please review some of my skills that qualify me for this position. Typing with 90% accuracy, ability to work well, independently and with a team, excellent problem solving skills, efficient organization and filing skills, strong time management skills, and then we will close with, I would really like to meet with you to discuss the qualifications I would bring to your organization. I will call you next week to make sure you received this letter and my resume and to see if we can set up a meeting. Thank you for your time and consideration. Respectfully, Krista Smith. Include the phone number and then Krista's email. And our cover letter is done. But if you remember from the resume writing lesson, we're not done, are we? What do we need to do? We really need to proofread. So I'm gonna go back and review the following. Is the font readable? I chose Tahoma, so that is acceptable. Did I include a date? Both Krista's address and the employer's address. If we look, we did include both of these. Next, we want to make sure that Krista introduces herself and which position she is interested in in the first paragraph and that she explains why she is qualified for the position. And then in closing, we want to make sure Krista discusses next steps and contact information, which as you see, we have done. And just a reminder of other things to look for. Did we add extra spaces in the appropriate places? Like after the date and address. Did we keep the letter to only one page? Do I have any typing or grammar errors? When I proofread the letter, everything looked good to me, but it's always a good idea to have another person or two or three look it over as well, just in case you miss something. Now it's your turn to try to write your own cover letter. Since this is your first time getting started, you might want to use a graphic organizer, such as the one we included in the resources with this video, or search a cover letter template on the internet. For your guided practice assignment, use your resume and follow the steps. Go to a career website such as Indeed.com, CareerBuilder, or any other of your choosing and find a local job opening. Review and read the example provided for you and fill in the graphic organizer. Using the information you add to the graphic organizer, write a cover letter for that position. Have someone proofread your letter, then submit your letter for final review to a teacher, boss, or a friend to see if they have any final recommendations. Writing is not an easy skill, and writing a cover letter can be very challenging. But like everything else, the more you practice, the better you will get. So keep writing and practicing so that the next cover letter you submit with your resume and application will help you land the job that is right for you.